Hey everybody, welcome to a new show. It's called Terry's Tech Tips and Troubles. We're gonna start with a tip that you are all really curious about and that is how to get the Atom Mini Pro ISO into OBS while recording all of your ISOs on a drive. Here we go. Okay everybody, so um, we'll get right down to it. This is something, Here, here's the thing. We absolutely love, love, love the Atom Mini and its bigger brother, the Atom Mini Pro ISO. Uh, we've been using it in our production for quite some time now. Really, as soon as like quarantine and all that stuff hit, we became uh, hardcore live streamers and we went direct with Blackmagic, who also does all of our cameras. The only problem we're having is that I wanted to record all of the angles that the cameras are doing within the switcher itself, but I also want to be able to stream via OBS. Blackmagic so far has been reluctant to provide a solution to kind of do that, so this led us into the conversation we're having today, and I know we've been looking at YouTube, we scoured the internet to try and figure this out, but that's the point of the show. When I can't find someone who can tell me how to do it, we have to figure it out ourselves, and we did. We did with the help of Blackmagic themselves. This little guy, the Atom Streaming Bridge, was released, and nobody really knows what it does. If you watch the presentation, they actually don't mention the most important feature of this, which is with this device, this one right here, you can finally record into the Atom Mini Pro ISO, get all your recordings, and then also get that same stream into OBS on a separate computer. Uh, enough talking, let me show you how we actually do it. Let's look at the actual devices themselves and you'll see I'm actually using one right now to run the show. So we are running the Atom Mini Pro ISO and I'm actually gonna show you how to get it into this laptop. Um, so first and foremost, you have to have an ISO, Atom Mini Pro, right? So the Atom Mini Pro, you'll see in the back here, there are different ports. Now one of these ports is an ethernet cable which uh, can plug directly into your laptop, for example, and you can control it through the uh, Atom software, which I guess I can just open up and show you because this is a pretty loose show. Uh, Black Magic, and this will be sped up. So if you go into your uh, ATM setup, no ATM found. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug it directly into the computer via ethernet. And if we do it right, there should be, boom, there we go. So the uh, Atom Mini Pro ISO does show up via that. Here's the problem. I can't then go into OBS and simply activate it because it actually doesn't throw the signal in. All it does is allow me to use the switcher software itself. Like launching the control. Boom, this is all that the ethernet cable allows me to do. You'll see I can record stream, which I'm already doing over the top here. That's with this little button that's built in. And we'll do an overview video. This is more just to answer the question of how, do I, how the hell do I get this in OBS? Uh, because so many people are asking. So, so this has a uh, record function, which you can see it's recording right now across the other camera. Um, but that's all I can do. Why? Because this stream recording does so through this USB-C cable, which is plugged directly into this uh, USB-C SSD drive, which means, and the problem with that is that OBS is expecting to get the atom via that same cord. So we have a problem in that there's not enough outputs on here. If there were two USB-C uh, ports on this, no problem at all, but there's not. So instead you have to use this bridge device. So we'll talk about that now. So this device right here, uh, in, the, in the presentation, they talk about it as it can accept video feed via bum, 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 ethernet, via ethernet port. That's kind of huge, 
but it takes a next level of thought to really figure out why. So instead of um, plugging this ethernet cable directly into the laptop to get switcher control, I'm gonna use it to send video into the streaming bridge. So into the ethernet it goes, boom. It does run off a power plug that looks very, very similar to the switchers themselves. Plug that power in right there. Okay, so now we have ethernet plugged into our streaming bridge, right? Streaming bridge uh, also requires power. The power cord looks just like the other two, but uh, Cody insists that it's just a little bit smaller. I'm not sure I believe him. Um, so the power cord goes in here. And then what this thing does is it has an HDMI and, an, and two SDI outs. That is the win because we can now run an HDMI cable out of this device. And supposedly video will then come out of this HDMI device. So what we can do is add some next level thinking. So the idea Blackmagic had when they made this is not what I'm using it for. The idea was to provide a streaming bridge. So the stream can go anywhere in the world. It can go to, uh, literally actually, but really they intended it, whereas you can plug your Atom Mini Pro ISO into this device and send it to a monitor. Anywhere kind of on your network or locally just via, via long ethernet cable. It's a great device, but the next level is the part that's important about this. So if I plug this into a monitor, yeah, it's gonna work, but, I want this feed to essentially be another USB-C out of the ISO, which is why now what you need is another device. Now, if you're like us, you bought the Atom Mini because it was such a beast of a machine and it was well before the Atom Mini Pro ISO even came out. Um, and uh, some of you have this, and th this is, this is a, a lot of money, but here's the thing. We're using this Atom Mini as a capture card. So if you already have another capture card, you can use that instead and thread that into OBS. I'm sure some people have gotten ahead of me at this point and now realize that, oh my God, this can go into my capture card and get into OBS. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing. Folks who have this one, like a, a dual combo is actually kind of great because it means the Atom Mini Pro ISO can just be one of the inputs on here. But if you don't, I'd like to introduce this other little concept. Here's your budget concept. And we'll actually use the budget concept today I think, or at least show you both. I'll start with the budget one because this is 15 bucks, maybe maybe 23. So an Atom Mini Pro ISO, plus an Atom Streaming Bridge, plus any sort of HD capture card gets you an output into OBS. And I'll show you how. Here's what we do. We take this wonderful HDMI cable and instead of going into a monitor, we're going into a capture card. So this is our little external capture card. It works fabulous, by the way. Obviously, this works a little better, but honestly, this is killer. So then our capture card goes into a uh, port on the side of our laptop. So the laptop now is uh, receiving an HDMI out, right? Let's go in. Let's turn it on here. So often in OBS, you have to deactivate and then reactivate stuff. So we will deactivate. Uh, and actually, we're not even on that. We're on the USB video. So we'll click that and we will activate. And uh, I'm sure Cody can just punch this in so you guys can see a better idea, but uh, this is exciting. So we're showing you this way. Um, okay, so in there, you hit okay. What happens? Uh, hmm. Not much, right? Why isn't it working? Well, we ran into this problem too. It's not working because of this. It's a streaming bridge. Some of you should already be there. What you have to do is on this beautiful little device, one of the cool things about it is there is a streaming button, right? So what we're gonna do is we are going to stream. This is now sending, see how that's not flashing? That means it's, it's got its signal. It's sending it directly to the streaming bridge. And then we're coming out of the streaming bridge over through our capture card, which you can't see. There it is, uh, which is only $20. And that gives you bum, 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 bum. your switcher is now in OBS. That is how you do it. It is this little, this little device 
that nobody talks about how it can do this that changes everything. I want you to look at this again because it's really important. This is the most important thing. You come out ethernet, turn on your stream, plug ethernet into your streaming bridge, come HDMI out of your streaming bridge into this capture card, into via USB, your laptop computer, and hot diggity darn, there it is, you have switcher capability. Now, one thing you are gonna notice uh, as you kind of watch this and I'll switch back to it, is that it's gonna be on a little bit of a delay. But honestly, it's fine. It's a pretty quick delay, and it still allows you to do the main thing that we're all trying to do, which is have our show programmed in, uh, in OBS so that it can go to things like Restream. It can go to things like into Instagram, which we know how to hack into, which is pretty cool. Um, but OBS is just immensely powerful when it comes to the streaming platform. I know, Blackmagic, you want me to use your internal stuff, but you do not have the ability to put in After Effects renders or video content into it. I mean, I need to be able to put up nice lower thirds uh, with the click of a button. So OBS is still my jam until uh, another platform figures that out. And honestly, because it's open source and free share and because people are constantly tinkering on it, this thing just gets better and better and better. So yes, there is a little bit of latency, which you can see right there, but it is totally manageable latency. And when you're monitoring, you just monitor something else. So um, Cody and I uh, are a two man team. Uh, so. It might be a little distracting to hear yourself like a second after, but if you have an editor who's actually doing the show uh, next to you while you're punching, it's a perfect combo for TD uh, standard, but as I can show you, it is totally doable yourself and you can completely get in here and do what you need to do, which is fantastic. That's how you do it, kind of the budget option. So I'm gonna go in through this one as well, because I'll bet a lot of people are in this kind of boat. So pretty simple. So once again, so everybody knows, plug an ethernet cable in, the ethernet cable goes to the streaming bridge. You come HDMI out and you go into any of your inputs. We'll go with input one. And then you come out of this into uh, the computer, which is done via a USB-C cable. And, and the other cool thing about this is now you can see where everything happened. We used to, before we could, um, before we were able to record ISO via hard drive, which is fabulous. Thank you so much for doing that, but I have some troubles with that. Um, we used to just come out of right here, the back of this USB-C and go into the computer and that's how we got it into OBS, uh, which I'll show you now. Uh, and once again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the device, gonna go into properties, change the device from USB video, because we're not using that anymore, to Blackmagic Design and you can see it updated. And this is actually a lower latency also, if you can see. Notice that we are recording and streaming at the same time, and we also can do something that I also like, which is you can start recording here in OBS, or you can also have this be your virtual camera, which is pretty cool too. So if you wanna have a full presentation act as a virtual cam in like a Google Chat or a Zoom or anything like that, you know, that's totally possible. But that's how you do it. That is how you crack the code. Uh, one thing you might be noticing if you're watching, though, is that um, you're not seeing the, the audio come in. It does. The audio does come through the Ethernet and uh, go into. All I have to do is simply activate that source. And bam, you see, that is the same mic coming in via HDMI, which I can show you. We're actually doing that wirelessly, if you're curious. Um, it is being transmitted via this cable. Yes, audio and video via ethernet. This is the future, kids. Uh, and then coming out HDMI, going into the source, all I did was simply activate. So if it's off like that, you're not gonna get any audio. You turn the audio on, bam. There you go, it's gonna be in there, it's gonna be synced with the picture and everything. Yes, there is a little bit of a delay, but here's the thing, in there, in OBS, in your final presentation, there is no delay. So it's something that's totally manageable and makes perfect sense. Okay, so yes, you can do it. Yes, you can record to the hard drive as Blackmagic intended, use this device to stream it out, into the streaming bridge, and instead of going direct to a monitor, go into a computer via capture card, and boom, you have figured out how to go from Atom Mini Pro ISO into OBS while recording your ISOs. 
So this has been, uh, this is the first episode of Terry's Tech Tips and Troubles. Uh, please comment below if you have anything that's kind of bothering you or you're curious about our setup. It's taken me a lot of time uh, to really figure all of this out and I would love to share that information with you. So if there's anything that's kind of bothering you or you're curious, uh, please let me know. In the meantime, I'm gonna let you know all the stuff that I've picked up over my 15 plus years as a veteran in this industry and things that just bother me because they should work and sometimes the marketing just doesn't tell you that it does. Like the streaming bridge, Black Magic, hit me up. I am happy to explain how this works. But uh, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful time and please, please, please come back and let us know what you think in the comments.